Hey, Direct Mob Sales, I wanted to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice Badge for Dust Mops. That's incredible. Seeing a Choice Badge in such a competitive category is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module, which you have for this listing. You're not utilizing it, and it takes up valuable real estate in addition to a few other things I noticed. My name is Sean, and I'm an account manager with my Amazon guy. So listen, I'm going to pack this full of valuable information. It's designed to help grow sales. I'll get to that module in just a minute, but the first thing I want to review are your keywords. Now, we utilize this tool to look at sponsored and organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things. And I'm noticing, so no, no sponsored keywords. You're not advertising and only 483 organic keywords. I was really surprised to see how few you have especially considering how long you've been on Amazon. Now we recommend a one to two ratio in this category. So for everyone sponsored, you have two organic, but let's look, let's see how you're performing. So as I scroll down, you'll notice that I sorted the keywords in this category by the most frequently searched mop, mops, for floor cleaning, floor mop, dust mop, lip mem mop. So all those show up first. And then on this side on the right is your organic rank. Now, as I scroll down, do you notice how other than I think five times, six now, uh, you are in the triple digits and in the 50 most frequently searched keywords. And when that happens, it means that your pages, pages, pages deep, sometimes so deep that it's going to be hard to find you. So let's see if we can put this into to context a little bit. Let's see. Um, mop. Dry mop for hardwood floors. No, you're ranked well there. Let's see. Mop, 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 mop. Mop for hardwood floor cleaning. Look at this. Oh, this was it. Yeah. So you're uh, organically ranked 196. There's 3,527 people looking for mop for hardwood, hardwood floor cleaning. Now, when people go to find this product and they're looking for you, they have to go through all the sponsored ads and then 195 other organic ads before they find you for mop for hardwood floor cleaning. And look how much revenue has been brought in by these five words over the past 30 days. So you have to ask yourself, is your organic rank of 196 sufficient enough for you to get your fair share of this revenue? And the answer should hands down be no, right? I would definitely improve your keywords. You're leaving money on the table. Now let's talk about competition. So I took these words, dust mop kit from your title, found this listing here. Now I'm not doing any product comparisons. However, what I do want to show you is their advertising plan. So look at their organics. They're doing it. So they've got 1100 organics and they're actually advertising too. They've got 207 sponsored keywords. And because of this, they're selling more than you. They're indexing better. They're ranking better. I mean, they've sold over 500 50 units in the past 30 days and you're at 394. So it shows that their exposure and the reach that they have is allowing them to sell more than you. So definitely room for improvement. Now, let me show you something that we do here at my Amazon guy in phase three of our four phased SEO process. So looking at those keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50, right now almost 10% of your keywords, 39 of them. Um, and because of your rank, you're really not benefiting from that organic traffic. So our focus would be to lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 25 for dry mop, or 31 for floor dust, or we'd have you in the top 10, right? So imagine the traffic you would receive from that in sales. And let's not forget that it's the words that gets your listing above everybody else's in the search results, right? And then it's the look, the appearance, and your product that create conversion. So I'm going to go through your images here. Oh, you have no lifestyle images. <laughs> you need to have lifestyle images. So someone using the mob, um, I've used duster mobs. You know, some people may not understand you know, what these are for, you use them on hardwood or hard surface floors to pick up dust, but you want to see those in your images. You need lifestyle images. And I do recommend 
um, video along with two infographics. So your pictures need to sell the story of your product just as much as the words and everything everything else here. Now your title, you want to be as close to 200 characters and you've only got 54. So this is why your organics are so few. And these bullets, I'm sure you, you put these bullets up whenever you enter them, but have you updated them lately? So you want to make sure that you update your bullets and have 250 characters in here. So update them when I say that with those frequently used words. Now, let me show you that module. So if you do anything today, log into Seller Central and right above product description, you'll see a brand story. That's where you can put your brand logo. Talk about how direct mob sales got their start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. Let me show you an example of one. Oh, goodness, it's freezing up. My apologies. I want to show you an example of one. Oh, it's not showing up. I apologize. Um, Amazon has been having an issue with loading things in the past couple of weeks, but your brand story is vital and it's a fantastic way to brand yourself. You're just not doing it yet. It goes right here and it fills up the entire page. So listen, here at My Amazon Guy, we are a full service 300 person agency and we manage over 250 brands, giving our clients peace of mind knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. I'd love an opportunity to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks so much for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.